I got a note from a blog friend of mine, thank you Colorado Peak Politics, that at yesterday's meeting of the Executive Committee of the Colorado Legislature, one of the agenda items was the consideration of the Tabor lawsuit. Since two of the three Democrats on the committee have already announced their intention to run for Congress, I figured it would be a really good time to get them on the record as to whether or not it's actually constitutional to require that taxpayers, the people who pay taxes, actually have to vote a tax increase upon themselves. Of course, the chairman of the committee and president of the Senate and congressional candidate, Brandon Schaefer, had to take a moment to acknowledge my presence after introducing the other camera in the room. That's what they're doing here. I'm not quite sure uh, what the other camera's here for, but it is an open meeting, so it doesn't really matter. Well, Senator Schaefer, I was just there to try to figure out where you and some of your colleagues lie on the issue of Tabor constitutionality. So, after going through several agenda items, we finally got to the part that I was interested in. Here it comes. We're going to find out what they really think about Tabor. The ability for Coloradans to vote for or against tax increases is fundamental to where we are as a state now. It is held in high regard by the vast majority of Coloradans and is an issue that we believe, certainly that I believe, is one that this General Assembly, that this Executive Committee should take leadership role on and should be active in defending the right of Coloradans to vote for or against tax increase. Okay, Speaker McNulty made a pretty good case. Now it's time for the two guys who have announced for Congress to stand up and tell everybody what they really think. Right? Wrong. While I understand your views and respect your views and respect your respect for mine. <laughs> I don't think we should. I think, I think a no vote is in order on your motion. So, Senator Morse is the one who decides to speak. The same Senator Morse who is the only one of the three Democrats on the six-person executive committee panel who, oh, happens to be a plaintiff of the lawsuit. But what I want to know, gentlemen, is of the two of you running for Congress, what do you think about the constitutionality of Tabor, which is arguably the law that prevents Colorado from being in a fiscal situation like those faced by other states? It's an important restraint to have. And if you're running for Congress, here is your opportunity to stand up on it. For the discussion. Come on, guys. Further discussion. This is where you say what you actually think. That's how this works. Senator, Senator Morris? No. Representative Pace? No. Representative Stevens? Aye. Mr. Speaker? Yes. Mr. President? No. Motion fails on the title. Apparently, the only person who decided to speak on behalf of the Democrat side of the table is the one guy, coincidentally, who, oh, hasn't announced for Congress.